to download a free copy of the script generating software demonstrated in the video as well as a PDF version of the tutorial, uh, click the link below. If you're watching this on YouTube.com, there's a link directly below this video that will take you to the web page where all of these files can be located. If you're watching this on the GoToGuy Enterprises blog, uh, the link will be a little bit further down in the article below this video. Now, all of this is offered to you complimentary. I've put in quite a bit of time uh, creating this tutorial for you as well as the software and, and just working out the logistics of it. And all I ask in return is if you find this to be something valuable, please help me spread the word. Uh, there's a like button on the page here. You can click the like button and share this with your Facebook friends. Um, feel free to uh, comment on the video on YouTube um, or share it through any other social media site, Twitter, um, Dig, whatever's appropriate for you. But I would appreciate the help um, to help spread the word a little bit about what, uh, what I've made available here. So without further ado, here's the tutorial. Welcome to Alternate Landing Pages with eJunkie. Um, or how to promote like a guru with eJunkie, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, every time you get a you know a referral from an affiliate for one of the big gurus out there, they're very rarely promoting you know the main page of a of a new product. They're very rarely sending you to the landing page with a full um, a full you know sales pitch and everything. They're usually sending you to some kind of secondary you know, free video or free report or something like that. And it's a great tactic because it allows you to um, give your affiliates a soft sell. You know, send them to this alternate page, then they get on a mailing, you know, the, the person gets on a mailing list, and then you can promote to them, and your affiliates don't have to go and give them the hard sell. They can just offer some great free new resource. Um, it's a real common tactic. Lots of people are using it. Um, works really well, but unfortunately with eJunkie you're only allowed one landing page per product. So when you set up a hop link in your affiliate program, you're not allowed to send it to any any other uh, landing page. We can take a quick look at um, at my eJunkie uh, seller's account here and you can see what I mean. So I flipped through to a product of mine uh, called Meatball Copywriting and you'll see when we click through here to uh, the affiliate program setup settings and we select create a hop link here it only allows us to create one landing page and that's one of the big limitations with eJunkie but eJunkie has a really good workaround um, just requires you to do a little bit of scripting and so I'm going to show you an easy way to do that kind of get you through the hard part if you're not familiar with creating PHP scripts and and doing you know a little bit of tinkering under the hood so uh, Essentially, what we'll do is we'll create a new landing page that's a script, and we will send all of our traffic from the hoplink to that script. And then what eJunkie will do is if you add any kind of information to the hoplink, and let's take a quick look at what a hoplink from eJunkie looks like. Um, I'll flip over to my affiliate program here. We'll go to the admin. And take just a second to load up here and if we get an affiliate code um, go to guy enterprises is my merchant we'll get affiliate code for the meatball copywriting course and you'll see right here this is the link that they provide and the actual HTML link is right here in the middle um, the HTTPS ending right here with the uh, CL equals 7144. Now if we add another these are variables here in the in the link this and CL equals 7144. That's a variable attached to this link. Well, we can add our own random randomly chosen variable. I choose to use a uh, a variable called ALP for alternate landing page. You know, big surprise there. If you use ALP equals and then give it a, a you know, a unique code, what happens is when someone uses that link to refer a person to um, your product, it sends them over to eJunkie. eJunkie reads all of those variables and it looks for everything that it recognizes, you know, all these affiliate IDs and everything else that are in there. And then if it comes across a variable that it doesn't recognize, what eJunkie does is it just 
adds that variable to the end of this URL right here and passes it along. Does it passes it through? So if we add a variable and eJunkie doesn't recognize it, it'll just add it to the link and send the person to that page and we can pass the variable to the script. So we'll add a custom variable that we can change whenever we want to and our um, our affiliates can pick what page they want to send their visitors, their their customers to when referring them to our product. They can send it to the secondary page and maybe a free report or they can send them directly to the home page. It's their choice and they just add this custom variable to their link and it will automatically get processed by the script and redirected. So um, here is the main page uh, for my product meatballcopywriting.com and this is the one we're going to switch around here. So, you know, traditional web page, traditional landing page, you know, headlines and all that good stuff for the product. And I've created a secondary page uh, for a product I call my Battlefield Tactics Report. And the Battlefield Tactics Report um, just requires an opt-in. So it gets, them on, gets these people on my mailing list. And what I want to do is I want my affiliates to be able to send people to this report their um, referrals will get cookied so that if the person eventually does buy meatball copywriting they will get credited for that sale because of the cookie that's uh, created by the hoplink at, at eJunkie and then they'll get referred to this page so what we're going to do is we're going to create a very short PHP script and you don't have to worry about how to make all this happen because I've created a little script generator that you just pop in a couple of pieces of information and it'll create the script for you. Um, upload that to the server and then tell eJunkie to send uh, visitors to that link and then if we want people to go to the alternate landing page we'll just add the code. So let's go through this step by step. So here is this free report URL that's where we want people to end up as an alternate page. This is meatballcopywriting.com, our standard landing page. And first step is we'll go over to my um, little program here, Alternate Landing Page Script Generator. We'll pop that open. And it asks you first for a short code to identify your page. This is that special piece of code that will get added to the hop link. I choose something simple, report 01. I can do as many of these as I want. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And so we could have, you know, 02, 03, 04, as much as you need. If you want to do something special for, you know, a uh, super affiliate, you can you can give them a special customized report or a special customized landing page just for their referrals that, um, that you can tweak a little bit. So we click Next. And the next thing we want to do is enter in the full URL for your alternate landing page. So in this case it's the meatball copywriting slash free report. We'll flip forward and then enter the URL for the default landing page. This is the one that will be the main sales page. So if there's if no information is passed along, this is the default page, or if the information passed along is incorrect, this is the default landing page that will get all the traffic that's left over. And then we click next and then the last thing we do is copy to clipboard and that's going to copy the script to the clipboard. Um, then we'll open up a text document here using notepad or the equivalent. We'll paste in that code and we'll take a quick look at this code. So it's just a little PHP script. 90% of this is just instructions and you know information. Here's where the, the meat of the script starts. It takes this variable ALP and it looks to see if it equals report 01. That's that special unique identifier code we uh, created there in the script. And if it sees that, it's going to redirect to this URL, which is meatballcopywriting.com forward slash free report. Now we can add additional pages just by copying this two lines of code here. Right now it's commented, these, these two little marks here commented so that it doesn't get processed. But we can just copy that and paste it right underneath here and add a new unique page code and a new landing page for it to refer to. We can add as many of those as you want, so just keep adding more else if statements. Just add them one after the next after the next for as many alternate pages as you need. And then it gets all the way to the bottom and it says if none of those things 
it, the script will go process all the way through and if none of those things is true if it doesn't recognize any of those little variables and and redirect people it'll end up redirecting people to the landing page the main landing page and that's this this URL right at the bottom and then this very last piece of code just sends the people to the appropriate place so um, the script is uh, as it stands will create that single alternate landing page and you can create the additional ones if you want and we'll just save that and I'll call it redirect script.php so it's redirect script.php and I'll switch over to my FTP software and here is the script from my FTP software and here is the uh, main folder for the website for meatball copywriting it uh, it runs off of WordPress and I use my little um, WP sales page uh, sales page template plugged into that to create the, the special sales page layouts um, but what we want to do here is just take this script and upload it to the main directory for the site and now we will have redirect script .php right here in the folder and we can go over and test it now so let's flip back to the browser and we'll type in meeplecopywriting.com forward slash redirect script.php now you can see I've tested this before so redirect script.php and since we don't have any additional variables on there it will redirect us to the home page. Now if we were to do if we were to add then we're, again we're just testing here but we'll test it now to make sure that the script is working and use the variable here so we add ALP equals report 01 so by adding that little piece of code we should end up getting redirected to the landing page for the free report. So we know the script works. It, it can filter out looking for that little code and send us to the appropriate page. Now what we need to do is we need to tell eJunkie that instead of sending us to meatballcopywriting.com to send our hop links to meatballcopywriting.com slash redirect script.php now you could name this file anything, it doesn't have to be redirect script it just has to end in PHP in order for the server to properly process it so we tell them send it to the script submit uh, we'll just go in and verify again that that took yep now it's sending us to the redirect script and now if we switch over to the affiliate code here I'm going to take this affiliate URL here going to copy that and let's pop open a new browser window here and we're going to paste that URL in and then we're going to add one more um, piece of code to the end of this. So normally it ended with this 7144 now we'll use the AND sign and we're going to use our variable is ALP for alternate landing page equals and then follow that with report 01 now when we click OK and click through eJunkie should automatically forward us through their hoplink system and then land us on the affiliate page now we can test to see whether this is working properly with the alternate by taking the original eJunkie link without adding our special code to the end. We'll go to that page and it should take us that should hop us over to the main page. So now by just adding that and ALP equals and then our special code report 01 we can now send people to an alternate landing page by s but still send set the um, the affiliate cookie from eJunkie and that is pretty much it not too terribly complicated um, it's not uh, a very tricky script it's very straightforward 
and it's a great little tool that you can use. I'm sure somebody could take that little bit of information and spin it into a really awesome tool, but you don't need to do anything fancier than that. Just that little script to look for that alternate code and then instruct your uh, affiliates to add that little piece of extra code to the end of their hop link in order to send people to the alternate page. So I hope you um, I hope you enjoyed that. That that will make your uh, your promotions on eJunkie more profitable and give you the extra ability to promote more like a guru online using eJunkie. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, if you'd like to follow along. Uh, using all the same materials that you saw in the video, just click the link below this video and uh, and download the files. If you're on YouTube, again, that that link is directly below the video. It'll take you to my website, and uh, and you can download the accompanying files there. Um, and if you're on the website, there's a link a little bit further down on the page, and that will take you to uh, the PDF as well as the script generating program. And please, again, uh, help us spread the word. Facebook, Twitter. You know, whatever is appropriate for you, Google Plus. Um, just uh, take a few minutes and and help me to spread the word about this video and and share it amongst your friends. I appreciate it.